right across the George Washington Bridge from Manhattan. Portly actually has one of the largest Korean populations in the country. They do a lot of really good Korean food there. Set as destination. Setting new destination. Robin and I were both feeling a little under the weather today, so we decided to do something a little bit different for lunch and come have some sundubu jjigae, which is Korean soft tofu soup from one of my favorite restaurants. These are the, the banchan. You'll see the soup comes out like bubbling hot in a stone pot called the dulsa, and you just drop the egg into it and it cooks through a little bit in the broth. It ends up being a pretty big meal. They use a really soft silken style tofu. It's like a custard in texture. It's almost like more tofu than it is broth, so it's really more like a stew. The broth is made with anchovies and seaweed, which is what gives it that like super savory, meaty flavor. This is like the one of the best winter foods. And this is the kind of thing that makes me wish I was more sick so that I could feel better. It's actually really easy to make at home, so on our way back, we're gonna stop at Mitsua, a Japanese supermarket that has all the Japanese and other Asian ingredients that you need. It's a really well-known place. The seaweed has glutamic acid glutamates, which give you that sense of savoriness in your mouth. Dried sardines have some glutamates as well, but they also have a thing called iocyanates, which act as sort of an enhancer to the glutamates. That white powder is actually the glutamic acid crystallizing on the surface. So when you combine the flavor of the sardines with the flavor of the seaweed, it makes the broth extra savory, more than it could be with either one on its own. Kimchi comes in many different styles. There's radish, garlicky, cabbage, plain cabbage. I'm just gonna take the plain cabbage version, which is flavored with anchovies and peppers and a little bit of garlic. We drain the kimchi so that we can saute it a bit before adding the liquid back. You don't really need to use meat as a base, but we found some awesome pork cheeks at Mitsua, so we're using them. After sauteing the base ingredients, aside from the kimchi, the main flavoring in the stew is gochujang, which is a sweet Korean chili paste, a little soy sauce, and some Korean chili flakes, and then just the broth. Sometimes this is made with a super soft, almost liquid tofu, but we're just using the soft, silking kind. The really nice thing about a dulsad is that you can cook and serve directly in it, but you can also just use a regular pot if you don't have the stone bowl. Since the stone pot is so heavy and retains heat so well, the soup stays hot for a long, long time. Spicy food's great when you're stuffed up. Tofu's great when you have like upset stomach or you're feeling sick at all. Soup's just good all the time. 